As you already know, there are two numbers that it takes to fire a mortar, the bearing or azimuth which tells you left and right, and the miller rating which tells you up and down or how far away the target is. There are currently in-game mechanics to find these numbers, if you have an SL available they can place a marker, then you can get the bearing and then the range on that, and you can use the chart on the mortar, however online calculators are far more effective, useful, and accurate. In this video I'm going to show you guys the two main types of calculators and how they work. Now the first type of calculators are geographic calculators, such as SquadMC, Nabla.UKJL, and We Love Squad Germany. These all use a map to calculate for your mortars, you simply point where your mortar is and then you click where your target is, and it tells you the needed mill rating and degrees. Now of these, Squad MC is probably my favorite. It's pretty simple to use, but it also has some extra bells and whistles if you turn it on in advanced mode, and next video I'll go over Squad MC. Now I stumbled upon Nabla.UKJL on Reddit when someone mentioned it to me, and I think it was the guy who made the calculator. So I don't know if it's that popular, but it works pretty well. I used it for a long time. It's very simple, and it's not as aesthetically pleasing, but like I said, it gets the job done. We Love Squad Germany's calculator is pretty damn good. They have a lot of different features on it, and it automatically corrects for height, just like the other ones. Um, I don't personally use it because I don't like using the web browser that takes a while to load, and I didn't want to download it. But if you guys are interested in downloading it, then I will have a link to that in the description with the other calculators. Now the second type of calculator is numeric, such as Squad Calc or the Android app that a lot of people have been using. These work off of numbers that you type into them, and that's how they give you the mill rating and degrees to your target. These work just as well as the geographic calculators, however I found that you are more prone to making errors with them because you can't visually see what you're calculating. So I don't prefer these to be honest, but you guys might like them more, and I'll have links in the description for these. Now I've mentioned lots of calculators in this video, and I'll provide links to all of them like I mentioned before. It doesn't matter which one you use, as long as you're effective and accurate. For the next video, I chose to go over Squad MC because it's my personal favorite, but feel free to use whatever you prefer, and I'll see you guys in the next one.